Hi, this is Blair Pleasant. I'm at the Genesis GeForce Conference in Miami, and I'm with Scott Coleman. Scott is the VP of Product Marketing. Hello, Scott. Hi, Blair. How are you doing? Good. So tell me, how does Genesis view delivering on an omni-channel engagement? Yeah, when we've looked at how companies can really realize an omni-channel engagement strategy with their customers, we really looked at it three key areas to be successful. The first, of course, is around the customer. <coughs> How do we look at how we engage with our customers and how do we ensure we do that across both self and assisted uh, channels there? Because even though self-service is a primary method of, of communication, we do know there are times when you need to escalate to an assisted channel. So that's point number one is always around the customer. Just as importantly though is the employee, and this is really an emerging trend, is really elevating the, the value and the role the employee plays in delivering on that experience and just as importantly, realizing the brand promise that a company is looking to deliver. So that's the second area. And it's far beyond the traditional just workforce optimization. And then the third area we can't forget is business optimization. When we look at business optimization, it's how do we run a smarter business? How do we look at the issues, the infrastructure, and the technology that's necessary? How do I integrate with the rest of the customer environment um, and the systems and the processes to be successful, to be agile, and to grow with the business? So those are really the three areas that we look at along the way. So you talked about the employee and employee engagement. How does Genesis view employee engagement? What does that really mean to you? Sure, and it's a great question because the term is still evolving. You know, if we look at the past, we really looked at it really around workforce optimization. And, and when we looked at workforce optimization, what were we thinking? It was really more around um, managing the employee, managing their schedule, looking at um, how do I more efficiently use them and route people to the right user and so on. But that's really evolved over time. And now what we're looking at is how do I empower that employee? How do we ensure that they're motivated and they're engaged? How do we respect their time? You know, and looking at that allow them to be able to bid for shifts, be able to learn and grow along the way so they can not only have a, um, a, better, um, a better job, um, a better career along the way and understand how they fit into the company strategy. And the whole idea of happy agents make for happy customers. Absolutely. You know, it, it's like, and, and, and we can all see this in our personal lives, that you could have a great relationship with a company, so you thought, and then you engage with an employee and they can completely shatter that relationship along the way. Or they can save that relationship just by one interaction of a caring, valuable uh, employee that's making your life better. Okay. We also heard talk about journey of a lifetime. Tell me sure. what that means. Well, there's really two aspects of that. On, on one sense, journey of lifetime is a theme for our conference because what we're going to be doing is giving one lucky attendee the ability to go on a journey of a lifetime. So that's the fun part of it. They can go off there, go on a journey, and then come back and share with us what that journey was and what that journey will be we're going to find out there because it could be something where they're giving back to uh, back to a community or an environment or just an experiential one. Just as importantly though, it's a really a metaphor for what we need to be doing and looking at our um, at our relationship with customers. How do we look at it beyond, let's say, just um, finite transactions and activities and more around the idea of um, really looking at the, the the overall relationship, the lifetime of that of that customer, and so it really goes across a journey of what they're trying to accomplish, but also multiple journeys in really building lasting customer relationships. Great. Well, thank you so much, Scott. Appreciate Great, your time. Thanks, Blair.